Boy, you three look as low as the temperature. Schemer's still at it, Mr. Conductor. Yeah, well, if only the trains would start running, then everybody would leave and this whole thing would just fade away. And then all those people out there who believed in Schemer will feel embarrassed. It's like the time when Gordon and Henry were embarrassed because they believed in all their bragging about themselves. But I suppose no one wants to hear about that. Of course we do. Well, then, what are we waiting for? Edward was getting old. His bearings were worn, and he clanked as he puffed along. He was taking empty cattle cars to a market town. The sun shone, birds sang. But Edward was heading for trouble. Come on, come on, he puffed. Oh, oh, screamed the cars. Edward puffed and clanked. The cars rattled and screamed. Some cows were grazing nearby. They were not used to trains. The noise and smoke disturbed them. As Edward clanked by, they broke through the fence and ran across the line. A coupling was broken and some cars were left behind. Edward felt a jerk, but didn't take much notice. He was used to cattle cars. Bother those cars, he thought. Why can't they come quietly? He was at the next station before either he or his driver realized what had happened. When Gordon and Henry heard about the accident, they laughed and boasted. Fancy allowing cows to break your train. They wouldn't dare do that to us. We'd show them. Old Toby was cross. You couldn't help it, Edward. They've never met cows. I have, and I know the trouble they are. Some days later, Gordon rushed through Edward's station. Boop, boop. Mind the cows. Hurry, hurry, puffed Gordon. Don't make such a fuss. Don't make such a fuss, grumbled his coaches. A long stretch of line lay ahead. In the distance was a bridge. It seemed to Gordon that there was something on the bridge. His driver thought so, too. Whoa, Gordon, he said, and shut off steam. Whew, said Gordon. It's only a cow. Shoo! Shoo! He moved slowly onto the bridge, but the cow wouldn't shoo. She had lost her calf and felt lonely. She said sadly. Everyone tried to send her away, but she wouldn't go. Henry arrived. What's this? A cow? I'll soon settle her. Be off! Be off! Henry backed away nervously. I don't want to hurt her. At the next station, Henry's conductor told them about the cow and warned the signalman that the line was blocked. That must be Bluebell, said the porter. Her calf is here, looking for her mother. Percy will take her along. At the bridge, Bluebell was very pleased to see her calf again, and the porter led them away. Not a word. Keep it secret, whispered Gordon and Henry to each other. They felt rather silly, but the story soon spread. Well, 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 chuckled Edward. Two big engines, afraid of a cow. Afraid? Rubbish, said Gordon. We didn't want the poor thing to hurt herself by running up against us. We stopped so as not to excite her. You see what I mean, my dear Edward? Yes, Gordon, said Edward. Gordon felt somehow that Edward saw only too well. Gordon and 
Henry sort of tricked themselves, didn't they? That's what happens when you brag too much. Schemer always brags about how great he is. I wish he'd trick himself. <gasps> Wait a minute. That gives me an idea. But we better act fast because El Schemo is getting more popular every minute. Listen. He's a dreamo. Your shiny type station is Schemo. Your shiny type station is Schemo. Okay, here's the plan. Oh, but it better work because if it doesn't, things could be worse than they are now. Ah, some of my lambs have returned home. Schemer. 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 Took your advice, and I pulled out that whole patch of poison yeah, ivy. Fish. Well, it did not submit to my design. All it did was make me break out all oh. over. Oh. And I had that hairdo you told me to get. And do you know what happened? Do you know what happened? I predict you're going to tell me. <laughs> El Schemo shall explain. I shall all contact the great beyond. The machine shall issue a note, and the great El Schemo shall interpret it. What do you want, El Schemo? <laughs> it's, a, it's a talking machine. Well, what do you know about that? L tell us the future, old talking machino. You told these people lies to get their money. Shame on you. Well, I made, a, I, I made a few guesses. It didn't work out so well, but... You twisted around my messages. Your predictions are all wrong. You are a phony. That is the last time I ever spent one cent in your arcade, you phony. No, 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 no it's the machine. It's, it's inhabited by an evil spirit. I, El Schemo, I never predict... really believed it anyway. Yeah, I knew he was a fake all along. No, wait, wait. Who are you going to believe? Wait, who are you going to believe? Some silly talking machine or the great and powerful El Schemo. <laughs> Everybody thinks I'm no good. Yeah, well, I wonder why. You think it's because you lied, cheated, and stole their money? Well, that's the reason for everybody to be mad at me. Is it? Well, okay. Well, schemer, are you ever gonna pull a stunt like this again? No, Miss Jones. Okay. But it was kind of fun while it lasted. Schemer! <clears throat> I didn't hear that. It is I, the spirit of the machine. I'll come back to haunt you if you ever trick people like that again. <laughs> no, don't do that. Please, don't do that. Don't you want me to tell you the future? No, 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 I'm out of the future business. I'm completely out of the future business. I predict you are going to take a trip. Oh.